Here we're looking at Hewlett Packard, and you know they were, uh, you know, obviously they're a company that's in the computer industry. Uh, their main uh, their main uh, notoriety was really their uh, printers. They did such a great job with them that uh, they've got they really had a great market saturation. Problem is, is they started really getting new competition in there, uh, and uh, I, I don't know as much innovation. They were really very good about innovation, good producting, uh, on a good good overall product that you don't really have to worry so much uh, as far as the compatibility it was way ahead of its uh, its time, but eventually. Actually, competition just really started eating at them, and then they had, you know, broadening out into other areas with computers, as, as uh, everyone is aware of. The problem is, is that uh, you know it's very competitive here. Uh, but if you look at Hewlett Packard here. The best thing about the charting, I've always say, is that uh, you know you don't have to be some computer expert to understand the technology aspects of the company. You don't have to be some accountant or an MBA to understand you know what are they doing and what, where am I going to make the money in the overall market, uh, or you know a, like I said, an accountant who you know goes over all these uh, these numbers and still could be wrong. I mean, there was you know how many how many cases are we aware of of companies that were looked uh, you know out uh, you know and people. Were were looking at their books had, was inside the company still were uh, you know things were hidden so uh, and it, and you know the stock you know collapsed or, or uh, for whatever reason this is why the charts I think are so valuable because you not only do they have their own kind of power and influence but they can forecast a lot of problems that could be heading into the future as uh, smart money moves out because um, that's the thing you can't hide you can't hide the price action here so here you're looking at uh, Hewlett Packard on the weekly, and I and I always say those that watch the uh, these videos that they're really important to go on the long term here. And you could see something very simple here. You could see how you're you're seeing uh, like a, a, a double top is what it really is. Is you're seeing but a, like an M, a large M, and. Uh, a lot of times, these what they what they do is a kind of a fallback mirror image. They create a mirror image of the prior swing, and they work very very closely together. As you could see here, even if you're going to come into here, you could see you've got your one big corrective move, then you have another big corrective move, and then you have your neck your main thrust up higher. Then you see your big correction, then you see several after that, and then you see the decline. And one more, and then the decline. On this, on on the opposite, you could see that we're very very similar. We have the correction, right? And then you have your next move, pretty significant, but it's a little higher. Okay. Then you see your thrust up. Then you see your correction, correction, and that in there is a corrective move. So then you have two on the way. It's slightly different, but for the most part, very, very close in perfect um, type of uh, scenario. It's doing exactly the same thing, but on the opposite side. Uh, sometimes everybody wants things to be perfectly exact, and that's not the way things work. Anyway, that alone, I think, is a, is a very, very valuable tool in the right hands. Of course, I, I can't. I remember the first time I learned that technique, I was able to forecast a stock uh, going to um, to uh, from eleven dollars to three dollars, and I knew it would go to three, or really high probability that it was going to go three because I could see.